Hey, Jeremiah Cheatham here for Jeremiah's Guitar Lessons. Today I have Anyone Else But You by The Moldy Peaches. This is part of the first song series, so you don't need any prior knowledge of music to play this song. So we got two chords in this song, and we're going to be counting them from the thickest string down to the thinnest string. That's the sixth string down to the one string. We're going to say our middle finger is on the top string, third fret, or the sixth string. Our index finger is going to be on the second fret of the second of the fifth string. And our pinky and our pinky and ring finger will be on the third fret of the first and second string. So if you can see that pinky is on the E string or the one string and the ring finger is on the second string and they're both on the third frets. So that's a G. That is three, two, open, open, three, three, three. You can also play it without the pinky. You can play just the ring finger on the, the, <clears throat> sorry, the third fret of the first string and the middle and index are still in the same. That is also a G. But in acoustic, it sounds nice if you use both of the pinky and ring finger down on the third frets. So that is a G chord. Uh, we have one other chord in this song, and it is a funny named chord. It is called a G major 7. And I'm not going to get into what that means right now. Just for this song, I'm just going to tell you that a G major 7 is played by taking the pinky and ring finger off the guitar entirely and then moving these two fingers down. So the ring or the middle finger now will be on the fifth string, third fret, and the index will be on the fourth string, second fret. And we're going to use the tip of our middle finger to touch the E string so it doesn't get played, because we're actually going from the fifth string down. That's a bit funny sounding chord because it is a G major seven. Okay, so we got a G chord and a C, sorry that wasn't a G major 7, that's a C major 7. C major 7. And the reason why it sounds funny is because it's got a 7th note in it, it's a major 7th note, so it's actually got a B note in it. So it's got this C note, but it's got a B note too, and that B, their notes are very close together, so it kind of gives it a different sort of sounds. Okay, so the whole song is just going to be those two chords played. You play one chord, then you play the other chord, and there's going to be a rhythm plat pattern. We're going to play the rhythm pattern for one chord, then we're going to play the rhythm pattern for the next chord, and we're just going to keep going back and forth between the two, and that happens for the entire song. So the rhythm that we're going to use is like this. It actually changes chord each rhythm, but I was just staying on the G, so it's going to sound like... So, what I'm doing is I'm strumming down, and then I'm strumming down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, up, down. So that last bit is down, and then we're gonna go down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down. Down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up.
Okay. Let's do it really slow if I lost anybody. We're going to strum down, then down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, up, up, down, up. So I know that rhythm pattern is eight counts. Take your time. I know it sounds like it's, it's a little bit difficult and this is supposed to be a first song, but once you get that rhythm pattern down, it does that exact same rhythm pattern over and over again. And there's only two chords and it's very easy to get between the two chords because we just drop our first fingers down, you know? So this is a great song to practice playing two chords and to practice a two measure rhythm. So that is Anyone Else But You by the Moldy Peaches. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember there's a link in the description below to the tablature for this lesson and the website with many other lessons.